Gazans were hoping for a truce before Ramadan. But now that looks like a distant dream. There are fears of a famine. More than Israeli bombs, it is the fear of hunger in Gaza. With the situation worsening, the United States now wants to build a port which will provide much needed aid to the besieged strip. The airdrops continue, but that's too little. It's proving to be dangerous as well. Take a look at our next report to know the United States' new plan for delivering aid to Gaza. The smoldering ruins of Gaza. The cries of the injured. The desperate pleas for help. Yet the response from the West is of hypocrisy. Airdropping aid to the besieged strip and now calls for building a port to deliver aid. Gestures that are seemingly due to political expediency rather than genuine concern. So what I'm trying to understand is why is the United States providing bombs and ammunition and financial support to a government that has stated its intent to starve civilians and then use these methods and so giving uh, Israel uh, 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 no restraint, no, no substantive constraint on money and weapons. For months, Israel has rained bombs on Gaza, vowing to eliminate Hamas, which launched a terror attack on October 7th. But on the ground, it is inflicting a devastating humanitarian crisis. More than 30,000 Palestinians have been killed, most of whom are not Hamas. Thousands and thousands of innocents, women and children, girls and boys, also orphaned. Nearly two million more Palestinians under bombardment or displacement. Homes destroyed, neighbors in rubble, cities in ruin. Families without food, water, medicine. It's heartbreaking. The initial response from the West? Airdropping aid. This option seems tragically inadequate with reports of five civilians who died after a parachute failed on an aid package which was dropped by air into Gaza. With experts saying that the airdrop is too little too late, now West has a new proposal, delivering aid via the sea. Plans are afoot to build a floating port to speed up aid to Gaza. But this new idea from the President of the United States, which we're involved in, of building a temporary harbour in Gaza, means that aid will be able to go directly from Cyprus to Gaza. But it's going to take time to build. The Cyprus Maritime Corridor aims at scaling up aid by complementing other routes that include the all-important Rafa crossing point from Egypt and the airdrops from Jordan. But why the sea? Well, because Israel isn't allowing adequate aid into Gaza. Land crossings, the most efficient way to deliver aid, remain choked by Israeli restrictions. Rafah, the sole crossing point on the border with Egypt, is tightly controlled by Israel, while Kerem Shalom, the main passage for goods, operates at a fraction of its capacity. The US president had a hot mic moment expressing mounting frustration with Netanyahu. I told him, baby, show me this. I said, baby, you know I can come to Sir, just, just. <laughs> With ceasefire talks in limbo and with bombing continuing, hope on the horizon is fading. Now, it's not just Israeli bombs that are killing people in war-ravaged Gaza. Some are dying of hunger. Bureau Report, Vion World is One. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.